Welcome to our course on Autodesk Structural Bridge Design, Essential Level Course for the Design and Analysis of Simple Reinforced Concrete Bridges. This time, we bring you a step-by-step -step course for the design and analysis of simple reinforced concrete bridges through Autodesk Structural Bridge Design software, observing the Ashto Design Code. Through this course, and being this our first approach to this software, we'll focus primarily on mastering and understanding the design and analysis ways that, although relatively simple in design, will approach Autodesk Structural Bridge Design through a practical, real-world example. Our task will be to analyze and understand the design of this bridge so that we can identify any current or potential flaws that affect its performance, hence using this software for finding an adequate design solution. To achieve this, we'll analyze the provided concrete sections for both beams and slabs under the design loads, including dead loads, superimposed loads, and vehicle loads. Once we obtain the results of the first set of analyses, we'll use the tools provided by the software to find a suitable design solution, namely a solution that complies with both the active design code and the safety requirements of the bridge. Through this course, we'll cover the necessary steps for defining the concrete sections of both beams and slabs, generating the analytical model of our bridge structure, and assigning and analyzing the corresponding dead loads of the concrete elements using the line beam analysis method. We'll also define both the superimposed and live loads, optimizing the latter through the definition of influence surfaces. Finally, we'll carry out the analysis of our structural model and based on the results work on an appropriate design solution for the beams. In other words, we'll aim to achieve a design that allows the bridge to function safely and efficiently under the design loads. Now, although we'll follow the Ashto design code throughout this course, it's worth mentioning that the course is structured in a way that allows you to follow the same general workflow using any other design code. In short, the different design and analysis stages we'll follow can easily be applied under a different design code. Last but not least, if you have any questions while following this course or using the various tools we'll cover, remember that you can always rely on the help of our support center. So, all these topics and more will be thoroughly covered in our Autodesk Structural Bridge Design course. Essential Level Course for the Design and Analysis of Simple Reinforced Concrete Bridges.